All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi back at you with Lady Christina K and my good buddy Dado. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So we're actually outside of Dado's garage today. Uh, I brought over my R8. He hasn't heard it yet, so I wanted him to hear it. Um, we're actually, the reason I'm driving this is because um, I had some low tire pressure, so he's checking all my tire pressures. They, these cars run 49 tire pressure in the front and 41 in the back, which seems so high, it's ridiculous. 35 all around, yeah, so it's been really cold. It was like 18 degrees today, so uh, that definitely affects tire pressure. So he's filling up the tires, and then I want him to hear this car. Is it okay if I turn it on, Dotto, and rev it once? One time? Okay, cool. What? Is this? what? Is this a death like a, a death, death crystal? crystal? Or it's a wand to make spells. <laughs> this is this is what she adds what is, to this. What is Harry Potter? Not ever, ever, that's... Vingardian Leviosa. Leviosa. <laughs> Till you come for a ride. You woke up Dozer. <laughs> oh, Dozer manager's Sorry, angry. Dozer. Manager's <laughs> angry. Everybody get to work. All right, Dado's <laughs> using his jack to move the lift around. He freaking basically chunked his whole thumb today. What did you do I, with a uh, a screwdriver went yeah. through here and came out the other side uh, underneath the skin? But it, no. I don't think I hit the bone. He good. said blood was just spurting all over the ground. <laughs> So we're this, just gonna this, cover that up. This guy. <laughs> Perfect. That See? Now good. it's like it never happened. See that? Oh my god. OJ will be proud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think on the docket today, we're going to finish up the rear brake upgrade since that turned into such a freaking mess. Um, so it's gonna be I'll grab you the pieces and show you. This is the state of our uh, unboxer. She blew out her ankle. Something's going on with her foot. So yeah, now she's just got sweetest fish. Look at this guy. This guy's sweet. We're all out of it. It's been the day from hell. I don't know if you guys watched my video on us trying to get our GLE stopped working. Our brand new SUV won't turn on. We wouldn't turn. Actually, still won't turn on. We waited 26 hours for a tow truck. Finally got that towed. Teen's call right now is actually over at Ben's. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Teen's car is over at Ben's shop, uh, West Shore Auto Center. They, she's just putting uh, titanium down pipes and it's getting a uh, DME tune. Uh, so that's gonna be freaking sick. Do you wanna show them the clip or you wanna wait? Wait, just go over to Christina's channel if you wanna hear that. And then my car just got the whole fab speed treatment. So it's been a lot going on. She has a new bike coming. I just picked up a new build series bike. It's been craziness. And it's been like 18 degrees. What's this, your outfit for the day? Literally it was 18 degrees today as a high temperature. Cool, thanks Pennsylvania. All right, my beat up crew is ready. Dotto with a screwdriver through his thumb and teens with her blown out ankle. Um, on the docket today, there was moto, that moto course uh, trick, which people confirmed was a thing. So F you teens and thank you everyone on YouTube. Why are you not on my side, Pete? It's a new trick reservoir that sits down here um, and deletes all of this. Yeah, look at that. So it's gonna sit right there, all blacked out. Look how cool that thing is. So I'm very excited for that. This is a new brake switch that's pressure brake switch, so it's gonna go right here at the banjo bolt, and then all of this gets deleted up here. So I'm not sure how difficult that's gonna be. I believe it's plug and play, but I don't see a plug right here to yeah, plug that into it. Yeah, knowing du how Ducati Just goes. Delete it. Yep, and then one more thing is this one right there, teens. Yes, perfect. It's carbon? So yeah, we're gonna throw the carbon front sprocket cover on. Oh, nice. Since we have the bottom panel off, it's, it's a match. perfect time to do it. Yeah. yeah, so that'll be on the other side, so check that out. That's yeah, awesome. so that's the current state of the situation. Don't forget guys, you can be entered to win this bike. It's probably going to be about seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 full carbon Panigale V4 SP limited edition. Patreon.com slash Camp PZ Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. We have another bike that we're going to be announcing very soon. You'll be entered to win both of those bikes as soon as that video goes live. So there's never been a better time to sign up. And if you want parts for, the, for your motorcycles, uh, motormillion.com, use my code CAMPEASY, save yourself some money, support your boys. Let's get started. All right, Dotto told me to come over. I'm just gonna step over this. <laughs> Let me open the gate for you, bud. Uh, what do we got here? Oh my God, what are, are these my favorites? Yes. <gasps> the jalapeno smoked infused cheddar. 
sausages. Oh, and I love how well done we're they gonna are. We're going to leave this here so it can smoke out the whole shot. Ooh, wow. Like you that. want to know what the best part is, Otto? Uh. I just had a foot long sub from Subway. <laughs> All right. Dotto got the sausages chopped up. Looks like his thumb earlier. <laughs> we got some smoked cheese. And we also, uh, what are you drinking? Um, nothing. Nothing, okay. I'm no, actually. It's uh, icy with a little bit of vodka. Uh, Tito's. I've okay. been trying to be good. You know what? I, I'm going to do the exact same just thing. Just a little bit. Yeah. Know? Just a I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. All right. First order of business the, for the 18 millionth time. This side panel, this is why we learned our lesson and we don't completely, um, what is it called? Assemble. A assemble the bike anymore. You can leave that on there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, since we're just doing this side. Yeah, it's got um, Velcro plus push little pin pieces. We don't want this to fall off. Good God. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Something fell there. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Lightweight. <laughs> Is that gonna stay on there or no, yeah, just take it off? Yeah. Jesus Christ, just like that, she's naked again. Great, still looks awesome though. All right, so first thing we just realized, um, since we're doing the reservoir delete, well, it's a relocation really. Um, we actually have this piece in carbon that Manny sent over to us. I believe this is from full six. I apologize in advance. Um, we don't need this whole piece back here. So we're gonna take off the reservoir. We're gonna get rid of this whole plastic piece. We're gonna replace it with the carbon piece, but now that we don't need the reservoir, Dotto is actually just gonna chip, chop it right off. Okay. And then it'll still look cool like carbon right here. It'll still hold all the wires. And then it'll be a little uh, custom made carbon trinket. So I'm gonna chop this off. So Chopetto would be proud. Ah! Okay. What's the first order of business? Get rid of this brake switch. Okay. Wire. F that brake. I mean, we're gonna have to hook it up again anyways, yeah. but we're gonna let it sit You know here. what's weird? I love the sound that makes when they unhook. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. So, just three little screws. Pigs. Oh. Yeah. Three little pigs. Three little piggies. And then that's out. And then this too. Yeah. Okay. Different size. So, Dotto was just testing to find which one that was. Look at that. That's literally how tight it was. It wasn't even hand tight. It could have just fallen out, pretty much. That explains the brakes catching on fire and must have. <coughs> just kidding. Sorry, Ducati. <laughs> Dude, I'm surprised. Surprised Geppetto didn't have Loctite on there. Nothing. Look how shiny yeah. that is. Wow. Wow. Shocking. Wow. All right, had to cut off some zip ties there. There's a couple more here. A little rubber strap. Now, I told Jared, I'm like, that factory piece actually weighs a good bit because brass is heavy, mm -hmm. and we should weigh it against this. But I'm gonna cut this first. Yeah. And then we're also gonna weigh it with the stock reservoir and the line. Yeah, and, everything and then up. we'll do the new our new trick Moto Corsa piece. This guy, right? And this. Although this might be a little bit. Heavier. I heard somebody in the comments defending you with the whole trick thing. Yeah, I know. A couple people were. I said I'm not full of it. Look at that. Hashtag sausage fingers. Well, I just filmed the last clip, and this guy is on its last legs. Said memory card error. It's been doing all kinds of having all kinds of issues. This is my G7X. Mark II, this is what we used to film for about mm, four years on the channel, but I think it might be completely dead. So I'm on my phone now, have to get a new camera. Um, <clears throat> good news is this thing is a lot easier to use. It doesn't have as good a sound in my opinion. What? But anyway, what we're gonna do is unhook the brake res reservoir. Look at how cooked that <laughs> stuff is in there. Dotto got the cleanest pan you could find. This is what we eat our sausages off of right here. Um, and we're gonna drain, drain this. Yeah. Drain the brake fluid. So what I like to do. That's why you got a dirty pan. Yeah, I care less for this pan. Yeah. I like to drain the reservoir first out of here. Go, let it go right into your uh, chopped up finger. That'll well, clean that's, it. Well, that's the That'll point. That'll clean it nice for you, right? Wow, that thing is so thick, it's not even coming out. Are you kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Uh, well, there's something else in there? No, it's just a... Uh, actually, this is for, for moisture. <laughs> It's, suppo it's supposed to trap moisture. Oh, it's, the rubber it's the, thing. It's, it's the rubber plate safe, guys. Mm. Always make sure your rubber. Always use there. rubbers. Even Geppetto My knows. My finger is too big to fit in. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, that's oh. it. You needed that release, bud, didn't you? Well, now that's over. We're going to have to take a break. <laughs> Cut. All right, so I'm going to use this high-quality quilt, mm. a.k.a. the cheapest brown paper I have in the shop, <laughs> just to make sure that if anything comes out of here, it's... There's stuff flying everywhere. Doesn't, oh my gosh. Doesn't get over. No, it's going in the pan. Okay. So there we go. I'm pretty sure the other piece actually plugs right in right there. to that yep. and bolts to these. Uh -huh. Um 
I want to see how far over this is. And we got to pull that banjo bowl out too. Right. Yeah. You know you can play this. Do you want to weigh everything? The banjo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's carbon cutting time. We got our safety glasses on. I remember in high school, my, my shop guy used to say, there was like a picture of a lady up on the thing and she, she didn't have any eyes. Yeah, she was blind and he goes, Mary didn't like to wear her safety goggles. Now she doesn't have to. <laughs> It's wow. like, okay, safety goggles, That's got it. Up. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna cut this. Yeah. We're gonna go right above there. Pro tip, yeah. you always wanna score it first. Uh -huh. So your blade has somewhere to ride on. Just like Ben did with the Sawzall and our GTR downpipe. <laughs> All right, you got it chopped off. Now he's just making it look nice, smooth, nice and smooth. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Smooth See criminal. See how's it, how's it end up? Look at that. It actually, it looks really nice. It does. I may put this on a sander. Yeah. And, wow, my hand feels lighter. Maybe because <laughs> it's carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> what, are what, are what are we using? What are we using? This is a high speed two by six belt sander. That's what I was going to say. Look at that thing go. Holy shiter. My on there. All right, so so give me your honest opinion. Feel that, and tell me it doesn't feel like a factory edge. <laughs> wow, Isn't that it, cool? it looks like a factory edge. Yeah, that's what she said. Holy, ready? <laughs> yeah. All right, moment of truth. Oh, this is not gonna save any weight. <laughs> wait, wait, it's two ounces. That's it. Oh God, it's gonna be more. The new setup's gonna be more. Let's see what this is. 0.4 ounces. This is going to be the problem right here. Well, we just added weight to the bike. Son of a bitch. Geppetto would not be happy with us. All right. I guess we're going to install our spiffy new carbon piece. Yeah. It's going to go right there. We're going to get that tight. And then we're going to work on this guy, putting the switch in there. Basically, this banjo bolt here gets replaced with Sorry, the, face. <laughs> the brake, uh, the brake plate banjo. Uh, which is right here. Right there, yeah. And he uses the pressure from the brake uh, fluid when it's a, when, when you, you press it down correct when you apply the brakes, the brakes um instead of using the brake switch that's behind here yeah which is the opposite when you press it down it leaves the brake switch off so doing the same thing two different ways we're gonna have to uh bleed this puppy maybe and then we're gonna kill ourselves because we're gonna have to hang the bike upside down <laughs> yeah actually <laughs> and burp we're, it. we're gonna burp it like a baby Come on, come on, Ducati. You can do it, bud. No, we're, we're gonna break. We're that gonna get people strength. complaining. I try to hang my bike upside down, and it does oh, not burp God. it. Yes, I, I've said this many times. This is not advice on my channel. We're simply showing you what we're doing. That is all. We're not authorized mechanics. <laughs> I love the bag they give us with nothing in it. Yeah, what is that about? Really? That's, that's all the hard work. No, seriously, we should have new crush washers. Really? Yeah. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna use those then. We're gonna reuse the crush washers. Okay. All right. Moment of truth. How much is gonna come out of there? Not a single drop. Shh. Oh my God, look how good he is. I must focus. With his big sausage finger that's all chopped up. Can you see what you're doing, bud? Hell yeah, I can. You gotta can look you? at this screen to do the work. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. At least it's a nice big screen now. Said that little ass camera. That's what she said. Let, let me know which, guys you, which one you guys prefer. The iPhone? or the G7X. I was gonna get the Mark III, which is the 4K one, and it should have a little bit better uh, audio. Uh, we're cruising at uh, 20,000 feet today. Uh, a little bit of turbulence here and there. Hey, I say we turn this in a little bit. You want to? No, because it's closer to the exhaust. This fucking guy. <laughs> All right, next step is installing the new, what is this? I don't even know. Honestly, it's kind of like a, like a clamp for all the, Hoses yeah. and lines. Like a hose clamp. I got hose. I got hose on my Ducatis. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> I forgot it was supposed to rhyme. I'm not a rapper. I'm a lot of things. I'm not a rapper. All right, first set of bad news. So we realized that if we shove this in here, the clutch probably won't operate, right? <laughs> so we're gonna have to cut it. AKA this plug is nowhere near factory brake yeah. 
So we're gonna do a little snippy snip. Snippy snippy. I'm gonna take the factory plug. I'm gonna um, wire it to the new brake switch. Uh -huh. And we're gonna plug her in and hope nothing blows up. Cool. Snippy time. Snippy snip time. Look at that. Nothing like snipping factory plugs, huh? And then for this one, we want to give it a little bit of room. Yeah. It's probably like down here. We're going to make it look factory so that if you took it to a Ducati shop, they wouldn't. They'll it. never know. They'll never know. I just wanted to talk to them. So Jared asked me to explain what I'm doing, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm doing. He's just snipping stuff, so, creating connections. Yeah, what? so basically it doesn't matter which wire you oh, probe okay. and wear uh -huh. because it's either open or closed circuit, uh -huh. so it really doesn't matter. Okay. So if you listen to that advice, you're probably going to burn up something. <laughs> So, any mini mini yellow, we're gonna stick this one in here. <laughs> you lost me, you're on one tonight. Listen, I'm tired. It's been a hell of a day. I'm speaking the truth, it doesn't matter which yeah. way you put it on. We're gonna crimp, crimpify these guys. This man speaks truth. The truth. He's like Nikolai Tesla. I can't even wake up in the morning without somebody calling me out on something. <laughs> and it's okay, because I, I, there's a significant amount of shits I give and it's zero. Care. Yes, don't I don't. Care. I don't care what your opinion is. The same. I don't. Care. Actually, we do. I do enjoy hearing it. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy hearing people yeah. bitching about stuff, but it's I just fun. don't care that they bitch. Ah, damn it. Damn it. All right. So Tessa tape, heat shrunk. Tessa tape some more because I'm anal. <laughs> so this is gonna go behind here. <clears throat> not, <laughs> not, not very needed for a simple brake setup, but you know, just we go because. overboard. Yeah, overboard, underboard. This is what we board. do. This is what we so, do for our patrons. This should plug into this. Wow, would you look at that? It actually clips wow. in. Sounds really nice going in there. And can then we test this? I don't this, even know. Is the battery plugged in? Can right we now? test this? Test it! So I want this to go behind here. I yes. didn't want it sticking out. That's much better. Oh, look at that. Dude, that's that's really Put nice. Put a bolt in there. Yeah. And then we'll test the brakes. Yes. If we uh, tap the rear brake and the horn goes off, that we. Then we, we know it's good. We know it's definitely good. Perfect. Okay, so bike is on. Let's see. Rear brake is not on. Go ahead, Dono. There you go. Look at that. It works. I mean, I didn't expect anything less with Donald throttles on it. It doesn't work, so we're done. Okay. All right, so I took the screws out. That is a beautiful piece. Look how machined. Yeah. You see wow. the machine marks in uh -huh. there? That Pretty is nice. awesome. So we're going to, uh, I want to lubricate this O-ring, pop that sucker on there, mm -hmm. get it tight. We have to bleed this. Um, because there's going to be air between here and yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically how you do that is you pour a little bit of whiskey in there, pump the brakes, fluid whiskey, <laughs> fluid whiskey, flyer. light it on flyer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> light it on Carbon flyer. Carbon fire. Carbon flyer. All right, Donald got to press down on there. Right, so yeah, that's pressed on. That. That's how it's going to look. First, we got to remove these bolts. That's right. So we remove the mounting. Allen's. Allen's. Allen. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Make sure a spring doesn't come out. Yeah, that would be annoying. Hold it in there with your big sausage fingers. Hold it in there, sausage it on. He's come over here. This will be a better angle. There we go. Put that sucker right back in there. Do a little snuggy snug. And there's plenty of Loctite on those. That's right. Holy lordy. It's white Loctite. You know what that means? It's not Loctite. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, don't you try to pull a fast one on me, yeah. That looks so cool. You don't even see it. Look at how, okay, that's badass. That cleans that up so much more. Dotto, is there a reason why they have this going up like this? Why couldn't it have just run across like that? Um, honestly. Is there a technical reason? Yes, there is. Oh. Uh, what that is. Because of pressure or something? I uh, don't fucking know, <laughs> but. <laughs> no, it has to do something with air. Yeah? So to keep it out of the system, that's the highest point or something? That's correct. Because it's ABS, because, right? Because if they went underneath, that would just look like a saggy bag of dicks. They just want it to be... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, that's I, the only I, thing I really I don't, don't like. know. Yeah. I, okay. I think it does... I just wonder. It has to do something with pressure. Yeah. I know that's part of the ABS unit, but... Yeah. Look at... Okay. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Look at that. Look how sick that looks. Wow. You don't even notice it. So okay. What's the, next? The factory system... Uh, I'm gonna guess and say it's dot four. Yeah. Um, we're gonna confirm that. I'm gonna okay. fill it up with fluid. Uh, we're gonna tap. Okay, I dropped, uh, I dropped right. the phone. Jared's totally sober. So I dropped the phone. Like, um, we're gonna fill it with fluid uh -huh. and we're gonna- Pump it. Pump it a few times, pump it. get some air out of here. I'll be honest with you, I've done so many of these yeah. and I've never had an issue with any, um, you know, uh, 
Air. Firmness loss. Firmness loss. Yeah. Loss of firmness. We don't like firmness. We like loss. firm. Uh, because even when you take the master off, yeah. the fluid doesn't really leave here unless you Think smash about on that. it. I feel like wouldn't this be more effective because you don't have that whole tube running, you know? It's um, just straight to the source. Yeah, so the tube actually expands and contracts right? with heat and yeah. you know with pressure. And this goes directly into the reservoir. Yep. Yeah. So cool. and it's black and everybody loves black. Oh, yes, we so, do. So does teens. Including your girl. All right, we're using synthetic dot four, and uh, our buddy Preston sent us in <laughs> from Santa Barbara. <laughs> from Ducati. Santa Barbara. Thanks, Shout Preston. Out to Preston. Thanks, appreciate bud. it, bud. Thanks, bud. Appreciate uh, that. So let's overfill this so it goes all over the exhaust. Perfect. I don't want that exhaust to have color on it anyway. You know what's funny? Like what? the regular followers Ooh. and subscribers that we have. Talk about getting close to the limit. Now okay, let me let me ask you a question. What? Whoever designed this? Yeah, okay. I know. I know. I know. If we drop that right wheel, rear wheel down, it's still not going to be. Who just, yeah. seriously? Yeah. Do you plan on doing wheelies 24-7? Yeah. Come on, get out of here. Get Maybe there's a here. reason. Have you seen if it, how's the brake pressure? It has not changed at all. Really? There was one bubble that came out the entire time. Wow. I mean, feel that. That's solid. <laughs> it's better than it felt before. Um, no joke. I, I will tell you um, from experience that once everything heats up that there may be some um air coming out but typically like even if you tap this and and, and uh hit the master a couple of times you'll see burping i saw one little bubble yeah, and that's I it so I, I think we're good to go okay we're gonna put this sucker that on there right back on there yep that's a really cool piece man it's i a, think that's it's a super trick piece cool. thank you see <laughs> dotto knows <laughs> Then they send you silver bolts. Yeah. Oh my God. Jesus. Geppetto. All right. Hand tightening. Yeah, it's crucial with carbon. Please don't use an impact like I do. I mean, like <laughs> I refuse to do. And I think there's no point of putting back on. We're not going to put back on the fairings and stuff because we don't know what we're going to be doing next. And I've got more pieces coming from uh, Manny. So, that. Hey, that Jared. is a clean setup. What up? I got a question for you. Yeah. How are we gonna get this out? I don't know. Um, actually, I was, you knew. I was just gonna cut the wire and leave it in there. Oh, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Um, if not, shove a socket back down there. Since the wire's already cut, we don't really need it. Um, yeah, let's snip the wire, and then I may be able to sneak. I don't. I really don't want to take the whole thing apart. Isn't it just those two? It's just these two. That would allow us to swing it out. Okay, I guess we're gonna be playing a swinger again tonight. <laughs> So, nice thing about these is this is also how you would adjust them as well. So, very easy to do, because just removing two bolts and then moving it and wherever you, you want. You can position this wherever you'd like. How cool is that? But you, for can, the you can put it in any position that she likes. Hey, do you, are you gonna remember where that was? Absolutely not. The bottom most, right? Um, unhook that from the exhaust. Look right? at that. And if you have like pigeon toed, you can just like turn have it sideways. It like that. Yeah. Perfect, that's how teens so, would ride it. <laughs> I think there's a 12 millimeter, <laughs> we're gonna take that out. <laughs> Okay, and that's what we needed right there. Actually, the little plastic piece on this broke off. We were gonna replace it anyway, but look at that. Like, what the hell? So this goes right there. And then he's just uh, putting these back on. He's gonna hand tighten them down. No Loctite on these. 14 sausage pounds. Yeah, 14 and a half. You know why there's no Loctite on there? Because the pedal didn't make it! <laughs> well, and also you're supposed to be able to move them, so I think if you Loctite them oh. down, that might be a bitch. 300 sausage pounds it is. Perfect. All right, it's time for uh, some, look how frosty some special drinks. What are we doing here, Doddles? We're gonna do a smoked whiskey to end the night. Oh my gosh. And are these going to be kits you're going to have available as well? Uh, I'm going to be hand making whiskey smoking kits. Wow. And I'll bring them for special sausage discount. I want the first one. <laughs> okay. You'll get the first one. Okay. All right. We're doing some DeWart's blended scotch white label. Just a little bit. Just a little bit I, yeah. I have to drive my crazy SR8. What? I'll, I'll let teens drive it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not <scared. laughs> All right, what are we using here? We're doing hickory. Hickory? Little smoke chips, yeah. Little smoke chips, here's a little smoker. <laughs> Look at this. That's right. I told him it looks like an Asian hat. Yeah. Look at it. I told Jared I'm gonna be making my own uh, wood chips for smoking. <laughs> now here's a little technique that I use. You guys, you connoisseurs can complain all you want, but this is how I do it. So I put the little chips in there, 
a nice little flame going. Get that whiskey down there. It's gonna start, look at that smoke. Wow. Right? Dude, that is so epic. Right, so we get it going to the point where it's, yes, I overdo it with the flame. But I get it going so it gets a little flame. As uh -huh. soon as that goes out, oh. look, look how weird it is in here, watch. And I'll just suck it all right up. That's what, dude, oh my God, that's mm -hmm. a lot of smoke. Yeah, damn right it is. Okay then. Fucking cool. Okay. Smoke. Ready? Yeah. So typically I like to sit for a few minutes and the nice thing that you can do with this is you can just swap that. Wow. And then while that's still holding the smoke and we can smoke the next oh. one and swap it over. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So in order, uh, this is called the mechanic special. We do yeah. a 10 millimeter wrench. We mechanic just, special. we move this <laughs> wood chips around here. That's what, just what fits in there perfect. Yes, this is very old school. I love it. He knows this is 10 mil wrench. <laughs> That's right. That's how you know he's been smoking I, whiskey. I, I have extras because 10 mil always gets lost. So Jared's is getting extra smoky. So oh we're going to blast that. Gosh, this is so epic. I feel like that's enough right there. That's no, enough. no, 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 no. Donald's. Got a little extra here. Look at him. Dear God. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. Okie dokie. Up. I can't wait to try this. I wish we would have put more whiskey in here now. That's so cool. Wow. All right, look at that. That's like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. If you want to see me uh, make some handmade smoking kits. Hit them up on Instagram. Let me know. At Dotto Made. It's always linked in the description below. That's so many people hit me up. Yeah. Make me cool shit. To get, just give them time. Everything's just getting started. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Cheers, bud. Close out the night. Here we go. Wow. That's incredible. The it's like up. drinking smoke <laughs> with whiskey and it makes the whiskey even smoother. Uh -huh. Oh man, this might be a problem, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no joke some of the best that's one of the best drinks i've ever had I'm not even kidding so and he might be doing something special for this build limited edition versions of stuff so stay on the lookout i would say instagram is the best way just follow him on instagram and myself too and keep up with everything that's going on so um that's gonna be it for this episode we still have a bunch of parts for this bad boy but i'm aiming to finish this bike build next month and then I'll be unveiling the new bike, which is gonna be, wait till you hear the exhaust we're getting for the new bike. I'm not even kidding. I think Dotto and I are gonna be in love. It might be the best, the best worlds between this and the monster exhaust, how we love the monster exhaust, you know? But the looks were like, just wait, it's gonna be epic. I think you guys are gonna love it. Um, so yeah, that's it. So um, don't forget patreon.com slash customs if you wanna be entered to win this beautiful, torn apart carbon v4sp um shout out to manny from moto million and moto course for making some really cool parts dotto for his beautiful work as always thank you sir and for the smoked whiskey and um for all of you guys for watching i really appreciate it uh if you enjoyed the videos uh hit the thumbs up button subscribe for more and we'll see you all in the next one peace